Okay, so we've got both of the rails installed now. Like, again, they're just loosely installed so that we can adjust them as we get the tonneau on. The next part is to actually install the bulkhead seal, which lays on the top rail of the bulkhead. And you see it gives you that extra bit of weatherproofing. So we're gonna test fit it, make sure it's lining up. You're gonna put it right up against, if you see the front of the rail that's uh, pressed up against the bulkhead, that's where the seal's gonna go. Make sure we get a good tight seal all the way around the tonneau. So we're gonna take and just start one side. Take the backing back a little bit. Get it started on this side. And then just do a little at a time, making sure it's continuing to be lined up. And we did, I want to mention, we did take a little acetone or rubbing alcohol, whatever you have, and clean that uh, painted area good before we installed this to make sure we got a good adhesion. Okay, now we've got that installed. It's time to get the tonneau on here, make all of our final adjustments and lock it down. Okay, so once you get the tonneau on the bed, what you're gonna do is fold it up, bring it to the front. There's actually, if you come and look, there's a weather gasket seal on the front of it. You're gonna take the front panel and slide it and you'll actually feel it slot into the groove that it needs to rest in where it's nice and square and parallel across. You can uh, then take the front clamps that we'll get out, lock on the front and then roll everything out and make those final adjustments. Okay, so here's our front clamping system for this front rail. It's much easier if you go ahead and assemble everything that comes in the kit. Obviously you have the, uh, bolt, or the bolt itself that's going to slide into the rail that we'll show you up there. You've got a large washer and then a lock washer and then the uh, adjustment knob as well. This is the way it goes together. You can see this is the clamp. This is where it clamps under the lip of the bed itself. And then you put your large washer in your lock washer and then your adjustment knob. And then you can just take everything. If you want to come up here and take a look, there's a slotted system up here that actually captures that bolt head that we just put on. And you can adjust everything up under the lip of the rail and tighten it down. Now again, just like we did before, we're not going to really crank this down. We're just going to snug it up so that everything can still move as we're adjusting the tonneau. Now we can unroll the tonneau, make our final adjustment, and lock everything in place. Okay, so we've got everything uh, in place. We've unrolled the tonneau and lay it on. And as you can tell, the back latch is not capturing because it's such a tight design that it's uh, made to fit completely flush and perfectly fill that void that it creates. So we're actually going to have to go up with the entire tonneau. So we're going to roll everything back up. There's two clamps that we just put in. We're going to loosen it back up, push it uh, further forward, and then we'll test fit it again. We'll be right back. So one of the other features of the Flex Undercover is the second position that it gives you. You see these buckling systems here. It's where you can lay the tonneau flat so you have full visual um, availability of the back window. The tonneau is still on. It's secured with those straps. You tighten everything down so it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to buff it in the wind. And you still have plenty of the bed that's open if you have higher cargo that you need to get access to. So now we've got everything adjusted and squared. And the last word we want is get it locked in place. You can see if you look up here, the lip lays on top of the tailgate cap. Got a full lip all the way down the bed rail. Really nice tight seal. And as you can see, there's no way that you can get access to that latching system with the tailgate up. So you lock the tailgate, your whole bed is fully secured. Because without a lot of prying, you're not going to get access to any of the latching system on the undercover flex itself. Put it up. As I said before, from either side, you grab the latching system and it disengages both sides. 
all the way up, same sort of latching system. And one of the key features of the Flex is it gives you the ability to have full access to your bed area and not touch the cab because it has a built-in prop system that you can take off and put on. Now you have full access to your bed. You don't have to take the tonneau off and worry about storing it or getting damaged. You still have the tonneau here, so when you take the cargo back out, you can roll it back out and lock it into place. And you don't have it laying against the cab where it could buff it and rub and uh, mar the paint on your truck. Uh, really nice piece, engineered well. Now that we know everything's fitting the way we can, all that's left to do is to come back to our clamps, lock them down into uh, uh, with some good uh, tension and the uh, flex is installed. Great piece, great option for the, all the features you want from a hardcover tonneau with all the functionality of having access to your bed. So thanks for watching In the Garage with Performance Corner. As always, there's a link in the description below to the Performance Corner website where you can find a store in your area to help you with products like this or whatever you need. As always, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next episode.